Hey, what's up guys? This is my video about the scopes that I reviewed in 2019 that left the hugest impression on me. I was trying to cut it to 10. I only got it down to 11. I couldn't go any lower. There are several honorable mentions that won't be in the video because I'm trying to keep it fairly short, but these are the scopes that stood out in my mind of all of the stuff that I reviewed in 2019. Now these aren't gonna be in any particular order except for the first and the last scope. If I had a scope of the year, these two scopes would be it. All right, enough talk, here we go. There's 11 of them, hang in there with me. All right, there it is, the SWFA Ultralight. In my opinion, one of the scopes of the freaking year. The thing weighs under 10 ounces, huge eye box, crystal clear glass, $350, and there is nothing, absolutely nothing on the market that can compete with this thing. It is in a class by itself. Resettable turrets, a couple of different reticle choices. If you're looking to build a lightweight rifle with a lightweight scope and you're not looking at this, you're screwing your ass up. All right, now I've tested a lot of these low-powered variable optics over the last year. This primary arms one to six, really stood out to me. For one, the price, the performance, and the horseshoe reticle that it has lights up so freaking much. Oh, extra battery, nice touch. Check that out. That's 50 yards. This thing lights up like crazy. And do not overlook this scope for a short range hunting scope. This thing will turn you into a hog serial killer. All right, now here's the new ride on 4 to 20 by 50. Right on may be something new to a lot of the you guys, but it is not something to overlook. Focus is down to 10 yards, great turrets, great glass. This is a veteran owned company and these guys have discounts for first responders and veterans. Check it out. This is one of the only second focal planes in this particular lineup. They also have first focal planes. Look at the glass. It is seriously a certified badass. The U.S. Optics TS-20 is from their new USO line. These are imported scopes made in Japan to their specs, and they are freaking impressive. Illuminated, zero stop, and it comes with U.S. Optics great customer service. This is an incredible buy. I had more fun playing with this scope than you can ever imagine. And to back the shit up, you get the QC checklist from the factory. They go through this thing with a fine tooth comb. If you ever held anything in your hand that had the word EOTech on it, you know that they're made around quality and durability. This one is no exception. A true digital illumination system. This for sure is one of those scopes that a little 30 second sound bite like this will not do it justice. If you're in the market for something in this price range, do yourself a favor. Look at my full review on this scope. Everything on it is built to the highest specs, to the highest standards. When you handle it, you'll know what quality feels like. All right, now Athlon, they went ape shit on this 34 millimeter tube thing. They jumped out there with a scope for under $1,000 that's damn, damn hard to touch. It's got a covered side turret. Solid brass, zero stop. Everything about this scope just screams super high quality and durability. Athlon, y'all knock this shit out of the park, no doubt in my freaking mind. And the damn thing tracks like a scope that costs twice as much. And that's no bullshit. Athlon nailed it on the Midas Tax scope. Simple as that. Best $500 scope on the market? This is it, in my humble opinion, and I test a shitload of scopes. The Bushnell Match Pro, first focal plane. I love the reticle in it. It's got the tracking and the turrets off of the Bushnell Forge, which is hard. I mean, damn hard to beat. Toolless reset to reset to zero. There is nothing not to like about this scope. This is another one that you really need to look at the full review to get just how good it is. All right, now if some of these other scopes are built like a fine Swiss watch, here comes the freaking hammer. Blackhound scopes are one of those scopes that if you dropped your deer rifle out of the stand and it landed on the scope, you'd think, okay, no biggie. The Blackhound can take it. They seriously are that tough, and that's just the way they're built. If you're looking for something 
that you never have to think about and don't have to worry about damaging it and come back for more, the Blackhound's it. Okay, now this is easily the nicest scope I've ever owned. My Valdata TX Raider 3 to 25. How clear is it? On a solid black target at 200 yards, I can spot a 22 caliber bullet hole all day, every day. Guys are out there with spotting scopes and can't match it. It has two different zero sets on it, which is really cool. Look at the glass on this thing. Incredible. This is a true tier one scope. Top of the freaking food chain. The top dog, big cheese, numero uno. There's nothing else on this list that can touch this. The track torque. This is a scope I've been hearing about for the longest time. And I finally got to try one this year. And I see what all the hype is about. Track is sold direct to the consumers. That way they pass on a lot of savings. You get a shitload of bang for the buck. Simply put, this is just a great scope from a great scope company. This 100% for sure will not be the last track scope that I own or test. The Arkin EP4, the other first place scope. I cannot tell you how impressed I am by this scope. I did two different videos on it. One doing nothing but torturing the turrets. They guarantee their track and precision. And from everything I've seen, every other review that I've seen, these guys are not bullshitting. Easily one of the nicest scopes that I've tested this year. And this thing comes in under $600. All right, guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to have a link below to every one of these videos. There's going to be a total of 11. So if there's a scope here that just jumps out at your dog ass, make sure and click on the links below. It'll take you directly to that video and you can check it out. Thanks for watching guys. Hang in there. I've got a lot, I mean a lot, of new scope reviews coming.